Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Dr. Anupama Bora. First of all, I would like to thank all of you for really liking and watching my videos. Thank you for subscribing. Some of you who are new to my channel, please do not forget to subscribe. This video is going to be really interesting as I am going to answer some of the questions asked in my previous videos. Questions are regarding the PhD course and how to apply into PhD. Please stay tuned and watch this video till the end. I am sure this video will be really helpful for you guys. So let's get started. First question is can I do PhD in education from IIT? Is it available? In some of the IITs, uh, the education is available. PhD can be done uh, in education subject or in any uh, subjects of humanities as well as social sciences from IITs. All the IITs have a department known as humanities and social science. So within the department, you will find professors who are working in different areas of humanities and social science. Please check those out. The first criteria what you have to have is that you need to have a bachelor's degree, master's degree and then qualify UGC net or CSI. Especially in IIT Guwahati, I have seen the website and I have seen the, the professors who are working there. I haven't come across any professor who, who works in education related topic. Like you can check, uh, check it out properly. But uh, yes, other subjects are there like economics, English, history. Ma'am, can you please tell uh, tell me does IIT Guwahati offer PhD in political science? There is very less information on official website. Uh, also regarding PhD in political science, mm -hmm. there are a lot of uh, IITs which offer PhD in political science, like political science, education, history, English. Mostly in all the IITs, they have a consolidated or an interdisciplinary department, and within the department, professors are from different background and they work in uh, interdisciplinary manner or maybe in individual manners. IIT Guwahati there are uh, professors from political science background so you can also check those professors website what they are working and what papers they are producing. Go through those things uh, before joining PhD it will be helpful for you. Can, uh, can do extra job during PhD studies at IIT Guwahati after coursework completion from IIT Guwahati or mostly from any IITs if you are doing a full-time PhD you are offered fellowship from MHRD so that fellowship is quite sufficient for you to survive uh, for your regular expenses if you want to join any other job like Although officially it is not allowed, if even if you are joining into any uh, company or any government job, if you get after joining PhD, then one thing you can do, you can join that job. But the thing is that your PhD will not be full time. You can convert your full time PhD to part time PhD. And one of the drawback you will be having for converting the full time PhD to part time is that you won't get the fellowship anymore. You have to finance your own PhD and also the time taken for a part-time PhD will be longer than a full-time PhD so you have to take care of all these things uh, if your guide is supportive and uh, you need a job apart from your PhD you can do that you need to convert maybe your PhD so that is a solution you can get uh, generally it's difficult to manage two things at a time so I prefer that you if you get PhD try to complete it as early as possible because a full-time PhD is much more valuable if you do from a very good institute Next question is I got a year back due to absent in BTEC due to some reason. Doing MTech from a reputed college be a good option now? Will a year back in BTEC after the placements after MTech that is CSE branch? I felt like he's asking that if there is back after BTEC and uh, then a gap 
and then again if you join mtech from a good college is it a good option okay even if you have back for some reason during, during your btech but you are getting admission into a good college from uh, doing mtech in a good college in that branch i feel there won't be any problem in your placements uh, if, if you have a valid reason you can uh, when the placements comes and you are sitting for the placement if they ask you about the gap or if they ask you about your performance you need just need to confidently answer what is happening problem i think you will be will be okay next question is ma'am i have done my masters from state university so how can i enhance my profile to get admission into phd enhancing the profile like we try to good uh, get some internship courses from some industries or whichever area you're working okay. some courses related or even not related to your subject that will definitely uh, bring um, a different uh, perspective to your cv after doing your bachelor's uh, or masters if you want to get into phd from a very reputed or good college central level or national level college or or institute then you need to focus on preparing for the gate exam or the net exam that is after that you can definitely apply for the phd courses all over in the work on yourself work on building your confidence these things will help you to enhance uh, your profile uh, next question is about the dropout research scholars do they need to refund the fellowship okay so the question is tell me about the dropout research scholars yes this is a very interesting question so i have included in my questionnaire so some of the research scholars actually they are not able to continue with the process from many iits or many institutes due to a lot of different reasons maybe academic maybe personal the people i know they haven't refunded their fellowship they drop out before that they have been working so that fellowship are being utilized for the semester admissions for the hostel fees so these are being utilized so i don't think it's really possible for you to refund the fellowship uh, maybe some institute have have some policy that they need to refund for the masters or phd i don't know i'm not sure about that i cannot comment on that but i haven't seen that uh, like they have to refund the fellowship so yes this is it uh, can you guide me which fellowship i can apply for as i want to do phd in english If you want to do PhD in English uh, that is in the humanities department from IIT here you will get the MHRD fellowship you qualify for net or get if you have a qualifying score then definitely will get the MHRD fellowship if you are doing from IIT uh, if you want to do like from other colleges or universities I have a then. lot of other scholarship in which you can apply in my previous video please check out that video i have mentioned some of the scholarships you can go through both But MHRD fellowship is the one mostly everybody gets like all departments they get this fellowship ma'am आपसे एक क्वेश्चन पूछना है मास्टर्स डिग्री सोशियोलॉजी से आईआईटी गुवाहाटी से कैसे कर करे प्लीज टेल ओके सो फ्रॉम आईआईटी गुवाहाटी देर इज मास्टर्स इन ह्यूमैनिटीज डिपार्टमेंट इन आई थिंक इन टू सब्जेक्ट्स basically in developmental studies and next is liberal arts so please check the website properly is it necessary to live in phd campus during phd this is an interesting question some of the people they used to ask me why are you staying in hostel if uh, your home is very near well, i am from a life science biotechnology background so this life science background people they have to work longer hours than like the csc guys i uh, yeah definitely csc guys or mechanical guys they also work for longer hours but if uh, their work is computational or theoretical they can work remotely like from maybe from hostels or maybe from some other place or from their home for the life science people we have to be present in our laboratory even at night even at day even during the evening time if our experiments are running we have to be present so staying in hostel is it's very convenient for us we can like we can travel to our lab anytime we want and there is a flexibility mm -hmm. in, uh, like arrange our our daily schedule accordingly and have the timely meals have the timely everything so yeah traveling from city becomes a very hectic thing because jams and also it's 
it's like having the experiences we, you will be getting if you stay in the campus and i didn't want to miss out those uh, experiences and yes i am really happy i opt for hostels at iit because it's one in a lifetime experience to stay in iit guwahati hostels iit hostels because the facilities are uh, exceptionally better than any other colleges like government colleges i'm saying it's uh, the facilities are really good you will get like four uh, hours wifi and all land connections in your rooms in your hostel in your uh, department you'll be having internet and like access to a lot of facilities like you can have a gym girls gym boys gym and then uh, the playing areas are huge you'll be having football ground you'll be having basketball anything you name it's there you will uh, meet a lot of different people you will share your ideas and yes it's it will make you a different person actually there is a huge a huge huge different life it has worked for me so i am happy opting for hostel in iit is there a gym available for girls yes there is a gym available for girls i used to go to that gym as everybody knows that iits are the ratio of boys and girls are very different uh, the number of boys are very high in iits and the number of girls are very less but uh, that's that's also not the factor but the the gym equipments are less in the normal girls gym than in the boys gym i used to do there was no trainer so we used to do by our own selves so that's fine i i guess the things are better now so this will be the last question of today's session i don't want to make it very long so this is a really interesting question you need to stay tuned uh, is there some genuine research done or just gimmick for youtube okay sorry to say this but it seems so light hearted without any serious stuff which forces me to doubt the credibility of a phd in this country don't mind my words but i need to know a lot of people wants to know whether the phd is what kind of work they are doing but yes this is not like gimmick work going on for youtube or here you're just boosting yourself in youtube that i have done great i do this and i do that and like so many like nerdy stuff you are just throwing it to youtube it's not true like we phd people goes through a lot we phd's are like you know like we work so much but sometime it happens that you don't get so much results up even after working and once you get a result na like it's like the best day in our life so please do not feel that this is gimmick for youtube or something like that yeah maybe there is there can be a rotten apple and that rotten apple can exist saying or a rotten fruit exist in a, a fruit farm so there can be like people who are doing this i'm not concerned about that some people might be doing that but mostly phd's are very hard working people if you are not into this field you can't even think how they are working i have seen some people they are like they are so much into this work that they forget all other things that the even some of the people they don't go home long period of time maybe one year two so, year they so do so much sacrifices these phd guys make i am sharing my experiences from a really positive outlook even i have faced lot of issues lot of setbacks mm-hmm. but i'm sharing with you guys so that you know that this is not easy thing i'm just trying to give a positive light towards this whole phd so people just think the phd people are very boring it's not that phd people are not boring it's not that they do in enjoy one part of their phd life is really really hard working and really giving time to their experiments they try to enjoy in their own way like having a tea with their friends having a coffee party with their friends sometimes they chill even i used to enjoy in my own ways i used to do photography i used to do poetry whenever i used to get time and yes you need to have a play time you need to have a working time balance should be there so this This thing helps you out to carry on your PhD uh, really in a really better way without losing your mind. I will make a video, an, an elaborate video. I would explain to you guys how is it like 
during the PhD life. Uh, today I am just sharing some of the questions and I am answering to it. Please stay tuned to my videos. I will be sharing a lot of stories during my PhD time and also how I got over it. So many things I have to share in this YouTube channel. Please stay tuned and thank you guys for staying with me till the end. I will be back with the next part of the Q&A session. Till then, take care. Bye-bye.